In 1977, we made the first plans for an overland tour through Africa. 37 years later, the dream became reality. We spent four years on the road, traveling through five continents. Our journey came to a sudden stop in Southeast Asia, due to Corona. We have hit the road again, but nobody knows where and when our voyage will end. In the previous episode, we drove from Penang Island in Malaysia to the east side of the peninsula. We managed to cross the border into Thailand, although we didn't meet the requirements for entry with our car. We drive further north. Our first stop is Koyo Island. We don't find the cotton industry that should be here, but it is picturesque with a nice view of the fish farms. On the island is a traditional but a very extensive folklore museum about the south of Thailand. As we drive further north, we gradually see the mosques changing into Buddhist temples and the headscarves into spirit houses in front of the homes. <laughs> we have arrived at the resort where we will uh, stay tonight. It was quite an effort because the location we got was absolutely wrong. We've been looking around for about an hour. Finally, another car brought us also with uh, some searching uh, to the right place. But uh, now we're here and it's beautiful. Flower. Huh? Flower. Give you. Thank you. Give, give your wife. <laughs> yeah. Mag ik jouw naam de directie aanbieden? Deze bloem die ik heb. Kom. 1, 2, 3. We started the day with a walk in the garden of the resort where we stay. So much care has gone into it, and every time we walk around, we see something new. The garden is beautiful and very well taken care of. The only thing we do not like is the bird cage. It's very small with a single bird in them. We then get an extensive breakfast full of surprises. And washes with egg. And washes with egg. And and this. 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 Lao. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, for now, very friendly. Okay. I, 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 I really go. I, okay. Mm, I go uh, to Lao uh, three, three times. Okay. Reluctantly, we say goodbye to our very cordial hosts and to their beautiful garden. Our first destination is the town Nakon Sitamarat. We visit the Wat Pra Mahatat Ora Mahawikan, the most important Buddhist temple in southern Thailand. The stupa was built in the 13th century. Via a beautiful road along the coast, we continue to Ao Karong, where pink dolphins can sometimes be seen. We find a camping spot along the beach. In the distance we see contours of Koh Samui, a well-known holiday island. At dusk, small fishing boats sail to and fro, but we don't see dolphins. When we woke up in the morning, we heard the fishing boats entering the harbor. We make a stop at the harbor to see how the fishing vessels are loaded and unloaded. Big blocks of ice are crushed and put into the hold of the departing fishing vessels via a conveyor belt. Lots of food are brought on board. From the hold of ships that have just arrived, sorted crates of fish are loaded directly into trucks via the conveyor belt. What a stamina have these men. After we leave the harbor, we continue to Chumpong, the departure point of the boat to Koh Tao Island. We intend to go snorkeling on the island. The road is dull and dusty and gets busier and busier. We spend the night in a resort with a large swimming pool under the palms, but with uninterested staff.
By 7 a.m. we are on the ferry to Koh Tao Island to go snorkeling. Koh Tao is an hour and a half sailing away. stay in a paradise where we can walk straight from our cottage onto the beach and go snorkeling among the coral. The coral is very faded but the shapes are beautiful and we see a lot of large beautifully colored fish. Flying with a drone would be great, but we refrain from it. Applying for a permit takes a month, and if you are caught without a permit, you can go to jail for a year. No fun in Thailand. In the next episode, we drive further north toward Bangkok. We enjoy more of the marine life of Koh Tao and see lots of action along the coast.